Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about probably the biggest obstacle that I was facing in my business that I could think of selling on Amazon and how you can avoid it, right? It's, it's a very simple thing and had I done this earlier, I would have been able to achieve listings with 30, almost 100 five-star reviews much more effectively. So that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching. Be sure to stick around to the end and be sure to subscribe if you happen to be new, but without further ado, let's get into it. So what I am referring to in the intro of this video is the fact that I did not focus on the things that actually mattered in the beginning. And I'll take full responsibility for that, but there was a lot of information in the space at the time that I started, that was kind of like, and I've even fallen into this mindset myself at points because of that, was where I learned that was fed into my brain. And then I was functioning off of that assumption that you wanna just get started no matter what. And to a degree that's true, but if you're gonna perform something, why not perform it the right way if you already know all of the steps, right? That would be like me teaching someone something on guitar, right? And they are going to perform this riff that I teach them in front of a small crowd um, in a few days. And I teach them the basics of the riff, leaving out two very important parts that make the riff complete and make it sound good. And they practice this, they practice it for a couple days. They're like, all right, I'm just going to do it. I got it down. And then the day of, they're going on stage in an hour and I say, hey, yeah, it, that's good, but you're actually missing two very important parts. Here's how you do those. And now good luck, get up there and have fun. They're gonna be like, what? Right? And that's kind of how I feel. I feel a little shorted and unprepared because if I had just done this sooner, it would have been so much easier. I didn't focus on adding packaging and insert cards. And this is kind of embarrassing to say, but literally until only about nine months ago, and I've been selling on Amazon for about over two years. Um, what I didn't do for the longest time was customize my products and there was nothing unique about them. It's almost as if I was just proud to have put a listing up in general. The listing wasn't performing like the sellers that I see doing six, seven figures, um, or the storefronts that I see through product research, selling all these products hyper successfully. And I asked myself why, right? I'm pretty good at doing photography. Now, finally I've outsourced everything. Uh, but I would put up these listings and they're just good enough to make me feel like, yeah, I launched this product. But they wouldn't perform to the standard that I was expecting. And they certainly, one of the biggest obstacles is they wouldn't gain review velocity, right? They would just kind of sit around the initial reviews that I got them and maybe a couple stragglers would come in over time. But after doing, as we can see in this, pack, in this picture here, professional packaging and insert cards that actually ask the customer for a review, an honest review, and packaging that makes the customer aware of who your product's from and what it is as soon as it arrives to their door. Because sometimes I'll order, I order a lot of things on Amazon, right? Pretty much everything I need, my books, my supplies for work, my desk, office stuff, guitar strings, whatever. So sometimes I'll forget what's even arriving. And if it comes in a plain brown box, I might literally just be like, what is this? And it, that what is this moment is not the moment that you want attached to your brand. You want your product to come and them to be excited. Be, oh yeah, I remember ordering that. I'm excited to open this. It's a much better presentation. So what I would say, if you could take anything away from this video, try and break away. Maybe I caught you at the right time. If you're one of those people who are like, oh, I'm just going to test something. No, right. That's like the guitar analogy. Like you're, you're doing something, but you're practicing it incorrectly. You know, why leave out steps if you're going to learn how to do something? learn all of the proper steps and do them all the first time. That's going to yield you a much better result. And specifically the topic of this video I wanted to focus around was like, customize your packaging. I've heard so many supposed high level, level sellers say, don't worry about your packaging. Don't worry. Just put something on Amazon. And I get what they're saying is they're trying to motivate people, but that's kind of awful advice. It's like saying, don't worry about what stocks you invest in. Just throw money in there, right? It's like, no, 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 no. Do not listen to that. Because trust me, I listened to that and I lost thousands of dollars listening to that advice. And it's not just the packaging, right? I can't blame everything in my packaging for my failed products, but a big part of it was my, my lack of attention to my presentation, right? 
It's like if I was trying to pitch someone an idea and I was looking for, you know, capital investors, right? And I came in as super unprepared and I had this horrible presentation. Are they gonna invest in me? No, it's the same way with a customer, right? They wanna invest in your product. And it's just a very small investment. Maybe it's $20, $40, $50. So they're still investing in you and your brand. Give them something to invest in, right? Make it worth an investment. Make it, when the packaging comes, it's so simple. It's $100 for that packaging design that you see on that page right now. The insert card was $10. Now they know who my brand is, that we're a professional company that provides high quality products. And because of that, people leave ratings on it when I ask them to, right? They actually go take what I've given them because they're happy with it. And they take two seconds out of their day and they go ahead and they leave some ratings. Now, there's another example, right? Customized packaging with an insert card. Almost 95 star reviews. And now I say that humbly. I know there's people with far more successful storefronts than me. And this channel is never meant to be, look at me, I'm successful, follow me, pay me for advice all these things. I've, I've grown and I'm proud of what I've done, but I still have so much more to grow and I continue to look for the best possible information and then implement that into my business, right? Because I'm not settling with where I am. I want to continue to grow. But there are lessons that you can learn from just the successes that I have had and the failures that I've had. And that's what this channel is all about, sharing the journey, right? So you're just getting my almost weekly thoughts about my Amazon business and where I am. This is one thing I wish I did a lot sooner. So do this on your first product, your second product, your third product. Don't ever skip out on this, okay? It's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.